Hello! Okay, heard you loud and clear. Sometimes the baking soda is messy, takes a while to clean up, all of that. So, and we didn't clean the sides of the oven and you guys were not happy with me because of it. So I'm gonna show you how to clean the sides of the oven. Use a little bit cleaner method to get the oven clean and uh, it involves the pink stuff. It's a miracle cleaning paste, says right on the container. So we're gonna use the pink stuff. We're gonna use a scrub daddy. We're gonna use a microfiber type towel to clean everything up. And uh, we're gonna show you how to clean the sides of the oven, the bottom of the oven, and uh, we'll do a little bit of the top as well. And we'll show you how nice and clean it gets with using something a little bit, a little bit easier to use. But uh, this stuff is starting to get a little bit more expensive too. So originally you could get this for like three, four bucks. Some of you have been posting to me that this is now seven, eight dollars to, to get some of the pink stuff. But let's show you how it works. Step one, remove the grates. Okay, I know you're gonna have to reach over or I did a video on removing the oven door. If your arms aren't that long, you know, you can remove the oven door, go look for the video, I'll put a link in the description below. But put a little of the pink stuff on your scrub daddy. I actually put, uh, I soaked the scrub daddy in a little bit of warm water. So it's not the coarse scrub daddy, it's a little bit of the softer one because warm water makes it a little bit softer. And then I'm just gonna start at the top. And you can see that it's a little bit easier because you can put it on the top without mix, mixing your paste. Someone said, can you put the paste on with the baking soda with a, a kind of like a paintbrush? Yes, you can, but I get that it can make it a little bit harder. And you're just gonna go down to the back and where the grates go. And the scrub daddy really makes it kind of nice because you gotta get in those, those grooves and crevices. So depending on how dirty your oven is, you know, it will depend how much you have to really scrub and how hard you have to scrub. The other thing that came up in the video is this back piece, right? So they said, well, what do you do? Can you remove that? Um, I, de I definitely would not remove that. But what you can do is you can lift it up a little bit and scrub under the places that are bad. So you don't have to remove it all the way and you can gently lift up on it. You don't want to lift up too much on it. And then, you know, just the spots that you need to kind of get into, get into. And I can move around it pretty easy. So you should be able to move around it pretty easy as well. And the scrub daddies really make this a lot, lot easier. So if you're using like a, just a scotch pad or something like that, that's, you know, a little bit, not as, not kind of as coarse as you would get with the scrub daddy. And if you actually have like a really dirty oven, if you make this, if you rinse this with cold water, um, it makes it more of a coarse, scrub daddy so it makes it a little bit rougher so if it's a little bit like that and you want to make it a little bit more coarse that's one way you can do it and you can see I didn't use very much so even if it's a little, little bit more expensive than it was I didn't use very much and you can see I did the entire inside with basically a couple just little dabs on the, the scrub daddy itself and then if you can, if you want to do it I'll do the door at the same time just to get kind of some of that grease off. And you could do even the glass with it. You can see I got some grease on there, some spots grease. And the scrub daddy is really good about helping get that off without scratching. So, you know, obviously test it on yours, you know, make sure it's not gonna scratch, but the point of the scrub daddy, you can hear, you can actually hear when you get the spots that are on it point of it is that it won't scratch and it'll get it nice and clean. Step two, the cleaning process, you're gonna get a towel. You can get, a, this is a microfiber towel just to get a little bit more clean, but uh, you can use any towel. You can use uh, any kind of rag or towel. And you're basically gonna go in and just wipe everything down. You're going to have to do this a few times and rinse your towel. You see it's going to get dirty. And you can see it's a little bit easier than using baking soda because sometimes with baking soda you get it everywhere and so when it starts drying out 
it becomes like almost like powder or sand. It's hard to get out of there. I think it works, it still works really good to clean, but it's a little bit messier. And especially if you have bad knees or it's hard on you to get down on your knees to do this, you don't want to be down on your knees a long time trying to get the, uh, all the stuff off your, your oven or get the, the baking soda out. So give this a try if it's something that you want to do a little bit easier or you found that the baking soda was a little bit tough for you. Okay, so that's another alternative way for you to clean the inside of your oven and the sides of your oven. If the baking soda is messy for you and it's hard for you to get on the sides of your oven, even though you can use it on the sides, the pink stuff is another alternative you can do. It's a little bit easier. It's a little bit cleaner to do um, where you don't get baking soda and, and things like that. And you do it in three easy steps. You basically take your oven racks out, take some pink stuff, put it on your scrub daddy, and rub it in really good and you'll hear the spots that have to be uh, need a little bit more scrubbing and that sort of thing let, let it sit for a little bit wipe it down with a towel and you can see it comes nice and clean if you look at the inside of my oven it wasn't super dirty to start with so i know that you guys are going to put that in the comments that it wasn't super dirty to start with well we try to keep it pretty clean but uh so we don't we never let it get super dirty but this is a great way and you'll find that the pink stuff is kind of a miracle product uh it does really really good and same with scrub daddy so that's it. Subscribe to our channel. I'll put a link in the description below to the one, the oven cleaning with baking soda. And uh, also the one that we did where we removed the door. So you guys have options. But that's it. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a, th give us a thumbs up. And uh, super thanks is always welcome. So appreciate you.